I'm Nicole Aronson. I'm a pediatric otolaryngologist, also known as an ear, nose, and throat surgeon. Today I'm going to talk to you about airway foreign bodies in kids and how they happen and what we do about them. So airway foreign bodies in kids tend to fall into two categories. One is food and the other are objects. Objects, I've seen any number of things. I've seen small safety pins. I've seen thumbtacks. I've seen dog toy squeakers. I've seen little pen caps. For food, it tends to be nuts, peanuts, sometimes hot dog pieces or grape pieces. Pretty much any food object that isn't particularly well chewed, sometimes pieces of chips or carrots can get lodged down in the airway. So preventing airway foreign bodies, there's kind of two big things to think about. One is avoiding kids having objects that are too small and also avoiding having them store things in their mouths. So the thumbtack I mentioned happened actually to an older young man who was using thumbtacks in his mouth at a bulletin board when someone startled him and whoops, it went down into his airway. And the dog toy squeaker was a young lady who was playing with her dog with the toy in her mouth and they were wrestling back and forth and she somehow managed to choke on the squeaker from the toy and actually was squeaking on her way into the emergency room. For food, it tends to be foods that are given to children who are really too young to have them. A small child can't necessarily be trusted to chew their nuts or apple slices or carrots well and so they have to have these foods in very sort of pre-chewed, ground up ways, which is why peanut butter is great for little kids, but peanuts are not. When um, they choke on peanuts, they tend to go into their airway and they can cause significant issues. Nuts themselves tend to have oil on them, which tends to react with the lining of the airway and can cause some significant swelling. So when we think about a kid with an airway foreign body, a lot of times they present acutely with concern for choking or aspiration, or they can prevent, present further out with concerns for pneumonia or decreased breath sounds on one side or cough. So what we do with these patients, if we are suspicious there's an airway foreign body as we go to the operating room, we do a direct laryngoscopy to look at the voice box, and then we use a long tube called a bronchoscope to advance into the windpipe and farther down into the bronchi lower in the chest. When we do this, we often encounter if it is something like a peanut, pieces of peanut along the way, or we might encounter an object. If the object is kind of further down into one lung, usually the child can be pretty easily ventilated through the other lung and tends to be relatively comfortable. Um, I did have one child who had a piece of um, a butterfly shaped bead just below his vocal cords up high in his trachea and this child was intermittently in distress and turning blue prior to removing it because he really didn't have space around it to breathe when the bead would kind of shift into a flat position in his airway. And so a foreign body that is acutely in the airway causing respiratory distress is always an emergency for ENT. It's one of the things that gets us in in the middle of the night to address these. Some of the longer term foreign bodies that present as pneumonia present to a doctor's office with concerns and don't present so acutely in the middle of the night. Sometimes when a foreign body is very um, distally lodged in the lungs, we have to attempt removal and then treat with something like steroids or even chest percussion to help mobilize the foreign body prior to attempting removal again. This can happen if there are very small fragments of something like peanuts that have lodged distally. So airway foreign bodies sometimes are very straightforward to remove. We just go in and take it out and sometimes can require a little bit more effort if it's been there a long time or if it um, is a nut that has created swelling. So the most important way to avoid airway foreign bodies is of course try to keep small things out of children's mouths and make sure that children are only having age appropriate foods or foods that have been appropriately cut up or mashed up for them. If you are concerned that your child has something stuck in their airway, that is of course a reason to seek emergent care and make sure that there is nothing there. Thank you so much for listening. If you would like to, please subscribe to Dr. Nicole Knows for more videos like this.